everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be talking about periods that's right I said it periods we're gonna be talking about periods and hygiene for periods I made a previous video on personal hygiene women's personal hygiene and now I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper into the hygiene and that is for when you have your period big time hygiene needs definitely for your period so yeah if you want to watch and see some of the tips and tricks that help me then just keep on watching <sighs> okay so to start off this video i am in no way a medical doctor or anybody with a medical license to prescribe anything to anyone. I am a medical assistant at one of the major hospitals in my area. Um, but other than that, that has not taught me personal hygiene, if that makes sense. This came from within me testing products me wanting to find out what works for me personally. So I am just sharing that with you today. Anyways, so, First things first, I'm going to show you the tampons that I do use. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be tampons, it can be pads, but um, there is some sanitary things, like sanitary issues that I do have with pads. Um, obviously, you have to use pads if you are a new mother, obviously after birth and everything like that, you are not supposed to use tampons, but um, however that is your choice, um, your body is your body. But anyways, um, I personally don't use pads. I Now, this is my personal opinion. Do not feel like just because I don't like something, you don't have to like something. You can make things work with the things that you like. I am just sharing with you what I like. I personally like to use tampons because that leaves the open outside area of the genital area open. It does not leave it constricted by a tampon that will, or by a pad that will become absorbed with your fluids. So with that being said, I use the Tampax Pearl. I use the Super Plus absorbency tampons these are the unscented i do like to use the scented as well that i don't have a preference for but this is what the box looks like these come in a pack of 36 these are 36 tampons um the reason i like tampons is because the leak guard is perfect um, sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but, um, different times of getting your period, it's different, um, flows. For instance, my period, um, sometimes is more heavier at times and then it's not as heavy at times. So there are instances where I don't need to use a super plus tampon and then there's times where I only need to use a regular or a light. And... With that being said, when I do have what I call a regular monthly period, not meaning that it's every 28 to 30 days, but more that the flow is just more regular. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's just normal for me. And normal for me, I usually start off using a super tampon. I only use, I use a super because, um, Sometimes it does start off more heavy in the beginning than any other time. Usually when you fall at the end, it gets lighter. But I do want to stress to you that for hygiene purposes, if it starts off heavy, then yes, use a super. But if it is not as heavy and it only is a little bit regular, use a regular. And if it is light, use a light. And I say that because if it is very light and you're using a super tampon, it's not gonna collect enough moisture in there to that when the time comes throughout the day, excuse me, hiccuped, and 
and you're ready to go to the bathroom and change and take care of things, taking it out is a little bit painful if not enough moisture is collected in the tampon. So you don't want to hurt your insides when taking out a super tampon if it was never necessary to be necessary to be put in to begin with. So I like to start off with just a super and then as I gradually am going down and it's getting lighter as days are passing through my period month, then or my period days I should say, then I will gradually change sizes of my tampon. The good thing about Tampax is that they do come in boxes. This is just a super box that I have. Um, but they do come with all three inside, which is really, really nice. You can get the uh, supers, the regulars, and the lights all in one box, which is really great. So I highly recommend that to you. That also plays a big role um with hygiene as well changing your tampon you have to change your tampon yes they say i don't know eight hours of abs absorbency i personally like to go half i'll leave it in for four and then change it just because i know my odor and everybody has an odor whether they want to accept it or not everybody has an odor so i know that after four hours I need to change mine so I do like to change mine every four hours just for sanitary purposes you don't want to leave it in too long but then again you don't want to not leave it in long enough um, leaving it in too long can become toxic toxic shock syndrome which is where the blood collected in the tampon gets absorbed in your own body which you can go into toxic shock um, and nobody wants that so always remember to change your tampons on time um, and when changing your tampon, um, change it regularly. And then I let, I don't have them with me, but I go in with the summer's Eve wipes. They are from a drugstore. You can get them in aloe blossom, any kind of scent you want. I like to use these usually on a regular actually definitely always on a regular i always use wipes on a regular just because i like to keep things very clean and very just like clean scented down there if you will um after using the bathroom i like to use the wet wipes um it just helps me feel more clean so after you use a tampon and you're changing in the bathroom use a summer's eve wipe just to get in all the crevices make sure any excess fluid that has come out and may have leaked anywhere on you can come off dry toilet paper might not get it all off so just make sure you use some form of a wipe i like the summer's eve wipe because they're gynecologic tested um and I don't know that just puts my mind at ease i guess because they're supposed to be used for down there and for that purpose for womenly purposes um so with that being said after you wipe the area i am all about keeping that area dry and we have talked about this before in my previous videos because keeping that area dry prevents yeast infections prevents bacterial infections so after i do that i go in with my vagicil powder this is if you didn't see my previous video on this in my regular personal hygiene video this is the deodorant powder this absorbs moisture and helps prevent an odor silky formula to help prevent chafing as well i put this all over that genital area and maybe even on a little bit of the inner part of my thighs just to prevent chafing especially in the summertime um but this has an odor block in it and it is a very 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 absorbent powder so what i like to do is after i change a tampon i will use those wipes then i'll use this and I love using this after because it just completes the cleanliness feel. And doing this whole cycle may seem pretty unnecessary to most, but once you start a routine like this, you're gonna feel completely different than you were when you didn't do any of this and you were just changing your tampon regularly without wiping with a towelette from Summer's Eve or using the powder or anything like that. Um, 
it does feel a lot different um i feel a lot cleaner it doesn't feel like um moist down there if you will i know a lot of people hate that word but it doesn't feel moist at all so uh, yeah um that is my i guess we could call this a period hygiene 101 <laughs> But yeah, um, the most important part of this video I want to stress to you is to change your tampons on time. Change them on time, change them frequently, but not too frequently to where you're going to hurt yourself if you take it out too early. But changing them is a must to prevent any odors or any kind of infection. So yeah, with that being said, if you guys have any questions at all about anything that I went over today in this video, please drop a comment down below because I would gladly answer it. Um, I love doing hygiene videos because I'm obsessed with hygiene. I may be even a little bit OCD with hygiene. And yeah, I just, I'm very picky with hygiene. I think it's a really, really, really important part of life. And it could, just being clean prevents so many things from happening to your body you don't really understand how much it really prevents so yeah with that being said like i said drop a comment down below if you have any questions on anything i just said or you want to know prices on anything i'll be gladly to answer those questions um don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn on notifications for when I post my next video, which is Monday through Friday during the week. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't have anything else to say, except I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.